Yo, what is up guys, DJ Double LK here and I'm bringing you a different video today. This is actually going to be an unboxing video of my new PC which has just been delivered. So I'm going to show you the piece, show you the boxes, I guess, and then I'll give you the specs of the like PC and the monitors. Um, but I'm not going to be plugging it all in just yet. And it's got to sort out a bit of a space in the garage at the moment because that's where I'm going to be moving the setup to, out my bedroom, into the garage. So I can play till the late games of the evening. Not wake up the whole family uh, in the late hours of the night uh, raging at certain games. But yeah, let's get right into it. Right, I believe this is the, these are the only utensils I need. A knife, I think. It'll, yeah, that is a knife. A knife. Uh, two boxes, as you can see, a Samsung monitor, a curved one, 24 inch. Uh, so I normally play on my Alienware monitor, but it is a bit outdated. I had that when I was 18, so that's going uh, eight years now, uh, so it is fairly old. So we've got an upgrade on these ones. I might still use the Alien Wear monitor um, as a, just kind of a spare one or just to the side of the setup, just in case. And then in this lovely box, we have the tower for the lovely computer that I'll be setting up. Right, so this will be interesting now, trying to open this box uh, one-handed and hopefully not. Yeah, there we go. That's where my hand is. That's where the knife is. Three you go. Oh, no, don't just pop out. Oh, no. Come on. See, guys, don't you just enjoy this content that you're seeing on this channel right now? An unboxing video. And low budget, as always. But let's get it opened up. And as you can see, we have a lovely keyboard. So, just went for a, as you can see here, a Phantom RG, RGB backlight mechanical keyboard. Uh, just a kind of a basic one at the moment. Might get a better one, uh, but normally a console player, so I normally just uh, play it on the old controller. Uh, I'm going to put, it, put the old phone down while I get this out, and then we'll be right back. Right, out the box we are. So we have the tower. tower. We also have this box right here, as you can see. PC specialist is uh, the person, the people that built this lovely PC for me. So um, yeah, we'll get this lovely bit of a uh, film off. We'll open up that silver side bit, and I'll get to show you the inside of the tower. Right, yo guys, after carefully unscrewing these lovely little nuts right here and taking off our lovely glass panel, we do have the inside of the PC right here. So as you can see, we've got the processor, motherboard and also our RAM in there. Um, I'll be putting up the specs on the screen now somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where, but you can also see them in the description of the video in case you want to see them in there. But yeah, that'd be the inside of the PC. Not much else to see here. Um, went for the lovely case with the little lighty up bits on the front. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't really show you much more um, other than that, apart from the lovely little bit here, which shows so tech gaming and also a geoforce rtx and underneath here you can see there where the motherboard is and you can see the lovely cross air ram discs if it would lovely focus there we go yeah see great great showing guys great showing from me right now but yeah so that is the inside of the pc tower so now we'll be putting this glass panel back on and I'll we'll be cracking open this little white box right here and then we'll get into the monitors. Right, so as you can see guys getting into the white box now, which is our lovely little welcome pack. So probably won't bore you too much with all of this, but as you can see we've got the power cable in here. Have our cable there, kiss screen, we want to get a lovely wall mount on as well, and we want to mount it on something. Uh, we do have our lovely mouse in there, W basic one for us at the moment. Uh, and then we've got a load of this and important information that I will definitely be reading through as I want to take special care of this one. Uh, this lovely uh, power. Do have a lovely little uh, game on, you shall not pass. And game off, you may enter. Um, I actually do already have one of these on my door. <laughs> and I'll show you that one probably at some point or I'll flash it up in a little picture on screen now. Um, but yeah, that's all there is for that box. So now all that's left is the monitors. Right, back again with the carefully sharp, well, not carefully, with the uh, knife. <laughs> that's very sharp, but we're gonna try and do this. Open up, yeah, so we can separate these boxes. And jump around the other side. 
lovely uh, first person view right there. Right, make sure we don't scratch the table. But yeah, and then that is going to be easily pulled away. No, because it needs to turn it over and do the bottom one. So be right back yet again. Right, here we go. Cutting the bottom now. Make sure it's separated. Bosh, oh, that lovely little noise at the end there. But we have separated them now and we have to just crack it open, which we will do very carefully. This one's a little bit easier to go through. Right, I think that's done. Oh, yeah, help you to do the sides, well done. <laughs> Work on it, you're working on it, you're working on it. Let's just pull this away from the towel slightly. <laughs> Don't want to be definitely putting a blade through that. Right, and now the grand unveiling. It's styrofoam now. <laughs> right, let me get all these power cables out of the way, that little bit of styrofoam there, and we'll be able to get the monitor onto the little stand now and show you what it looks like. Can I just say, I always like when peeling it off, you get that lovely noise of it. I just like, it's brand new. It's brand new. But yeah, anyway, back to getting it on the side. Right, so I managed to get it on without doing taking this off, so I get to do a little bit of an unveiling for the monitor. I just make sure I haven't screwed this up and then just put it off the top, which I can. And unfortunately, there will be no cinematic looks, and I have totally screwed up. Get around there. There we go. All right. There will be no, probably no great cinematic shots, but voila, that is one of my two Samsung 24 inch curved monitors. And one of the things I've always wanted uh, for when I'm gaming is a curved monitor. Now I probably haven't mentioned that as I've only just really started up the channel, but yeah, I um, always enjoyed the look of a nice monitor. If I could have one at work, I would also have one for working as well. I do enjoy looking at curved monitors. I feel you can see more of a screen in one go. Just gonna do a little rotation. So I can see there on the back we have got a stand because we are gonna be using an arm mount for these more than likely. Uh, lovely attachments there. And yeah, that is our Samsung curved monitor. Right then guys, so that is the unboxing side of things done. Uh, I'm gonna work on clearing up a bit of room in this garage, find out where I am putting this lovely table that I'm gonna be gaming on. And hopefully we'll be back before the day is done with it all plugged in, ready to go so we can hit that lovely power switch and get it started. Right, see you guys shortly, bye. All right guys, it's taken a while, it's taken a couple of hours, but I think I've sussed it. Got a bit of space, it's all plugged in already, the computer, so and so. Got to plug the Xbox into one of the other monitors um, as I'm planning to kind of run a switch between the monitor and the PC um, on one of the, uh, sorry, the Xbox and the PC on one of the monitors. So uh, not sure whether I just get a split or I'll just end up just changing the cables, but we are ready. I'm gonna switch the camera around and then we are gonna press that lovely on button and hopefully the PC will light up and not blow up. I'm gonna do this with the lights off just so I can see the lights a bit more. But as you can see there, we are got a bit of light right there. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna press this lovely on button. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Spinny, spinny, roundy, roundy. So, all lighting up, all lighting up good. The fans on the way, the fans going, the fans going. Just got to hope that these lovely monitors turn on. And then, uh, oh, got the keyboard going now. The keyboard's going. Oh, lovely rainbow colouring right there. Don't know why I'm talking like this. It's going to take a while, but it's the first time this piece has been turned on. Just got to get it all set up with the old windows. And then uh, I will be switching onto the gaming side of it. But yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a bit once it's all turned on and set up. Right then guys, here we go. It's all set up, all the lights are running. Everything's set up. Got my Streamlabs done, got my Elgato done, got my Xbox done, working on the other games consoles, but we'll see how that, see how that works. But yeah, so it's all set up. So I'm gonna flip the camera around now, show you how it looks with it's all running. Uh, there is a bit of mess on the desk. I'm working on cleaning it. I will make it clean, but um, yeah, uh, the only thing that's going to be changed from this is a desk. Uh, from when I get a new one, it's going to be delivered, so it would be a bit more of a sturdier desk, and hopefully I can move the mic position as 
I have a feeling how it's set now is going to cause a bit of distortion in the sound of the videos and my voice. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to flip the camera now and show you the finished product. Right then guys, so here we go. As you can see, this setup is done. There's a little bit of mess I was talking about. I'm going to clean it away, get all them done. But I have my uh, keyboard all here and ready to roll. And as you can see, I've got the mic set up now and the webcam set up. So I'm going to be using my new webcam that I got um, just because I was using my MacBook one um, for ever, pretty much all the videos I've done through the MacBook camera. So now that one's going to record a different angle. Um, yeah, the problem that I see here is this is already going to pick up my voice as well as pick up the type on the keyboard and possibly playing uh, because I'm, I am in a bigger room as I'm in a garage, so the voice is going to bounce around the walls a bit. So I'm going to work on a way to sort that out. But if anyone does have a way to sort that, please let me know in the comments. Um, the only other things really is Xbox is back here. Excuse the cable miss. I'm going to sort it out. It's not too bad a problem with the cables, but that is pretty much it, guys. As you can see, there is a lovely um, voice mod changer there. Uh, I'm going to be working on bringing some different kind of... Uh, flavorings shall we say to the content um hopefully it works out as i plan but yeah other than that guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and here are some attempts at cinematic shots enjoy and have a good evening